Hi everyone, it's Melissa with Four Quarter Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today to share with you my first Christmas craft project dollar store DIY. I made these really adorable decorative gift boxes to display around my home for Christmas. Of course, the colors and the patterns of the gift boxes I chose were to match my home decor and the colors that I use to decorate for Christmas, which is white, silver, a champagne gold, and brown with some touches of brown plaid. So these gift boxes were the choice that I made. Of course, if you find any type of gift boxes that are different colors to match your Christmas decor or your home decor, um, you can definitely make this project your own. But I just wanted to share with you guys the ones that I made for my home. And I just absolutely love the way that these turned out. I think they are so cute and even if you have, um, you know, when you first start decorating your Christmas tree, sometimes you don't have presents underneath and you can always make these to put under your Christmas tree until you replace them, of course, with real presents. Or if you're giving these away as a gift, you can even do this same type of project and just not use hot glue, but just use tape and actually fill these gift boxes to give away as presents. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I made these adorable boxes, let's get started with the supplies that I used. I used a large gift box, a medium sized gift box, a small gift box, some decorative ribbon, some uh, champagne gold poinsettias, as well as some champagne gold poinsettia clips. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is take your largest box and uh, using a hot glue gun, you're just going to put two dabs of hot glue um, on each opposite corner and just kind of hold it down a minute to secure. Of course, if you are putting gifts into these and you're giving them away, <laughs> you do definitely don't want to hot glue it. Um, but I am actually just going to be using these as home decor, so I wanted them to be as sturdy as possible, especially during the crafting process process. I didn't want them moving around. I wanted them to stay right in the center of each other. So once you go ahead and glue the lids down, you're just going to glue them on top of each other, stacking from the biggest up to the smallest. And then, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you, uh, all three of those gift boxes were from the 99 cent store. And then this ribbon that I found was actually from the Dollar Tree. It had a really beautiful um, gold kind of Christmas tree pattern on it. So you're just going to hot glue the bottom all the way up to the top and you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And you're going to notice I did this in two different sections because if you were to just wrap the ribbon completely around, your Christmas trees would be upside down on one side. So I wanted everything to look um, right side up as far as the ribbon goes. So that's why I actually did this in four different pieces. I'm just putting little dots of hot glue there to secure it. And the reason I chose this ribbon, actually there's three reasons I chose this ribbon. I liked that it didn't have any writing on it because the boxes had writing. I didn't want to take away from the writing on the box. I liked that it was thin enough to go down the center there where it says Merry and Bright. And then I also liked that it added more gold to this project as well. So then these little poinsettia clips I got from the 99 cent store and I'm just using some wire cutters to cut off the little poinsettias and these little squigglies. And then this other pack of poinsettias I actually got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just taking off three and then cutting off um, just the little bottom tips there so that it'll be more of a flat surface for when I want to hot glue it. So then I'm taking those three poinsettias and I am just going to go ahead and hot glue it to the top. And um, as you can see, like the little flower petals, I wanted those to kind of be coming a little bit over the top edge just to kind of add that fullness effect to the top of the gift boxes. And then the last thing is to hot glue your other poinsettias onto the flowers. I'm not really worried about covering up the middles of the first flowers. I didn't like them as much as these poinsettias, so um, I'm just covering those with uh, hot glue and then covering the middle of the first poinsettias. <laughs> and then these little squigglies, I actually ended up just using two and I just hot glued one on each side. Very simple, very easy to do. 
And like I said, if you wanted to give this away as a present, you could still hot glue the flowers to the top of the top lid. Otherwise, don't use hot glue, use tape. <laughs> so this next project, um, you're gonna also use the same supplies, a large gift box, a medium gift box, a small gift box, some decorative ribbon, some uh, decorative bows, and then another bouquet of poinsettias. And you are just gonna repeat the same process. You're gonna hot glue the opposite of each corner of the lid and go ahead and place it back on the box. And you're gonna do that with each one. And these three boxes I also picked up at the 99 cent store. And I really liked how they all had these cute little sayings on them too. I thought these were really adorable. So once you get your lids all hot glued on, you're just gonna stack them once again from the largest at the bottom up to the smallest at the top. And then with these gift boxes, they were a little more narrow, um, taller than the other ones. So the ribbon that I chose was this decorative ribbon from uh, the 99 cent store as well. And it's just a beautiful pattern and I'm just hot gluing um, right to the top. And then I'm just gonna turn it over and continue to add some more hot glue to the bottom and then wrap it around holding it tight. And then just bring it back up to the top and hot glue it. Since there's no um, certain pattern to this ribbon, I didn't need to do separate sections. And since the ribbon was also so thick, I only chose to do one of the ribbon instead of all four sides. And then these white poinsettias I got at the Dollar Tree. They're a really beautiful like white velvet. So I pulled off three there. I actually ended up using four. So I just went ahead and hot glued one onto each corner of the top box. And like I said, the flowers are just to kind of add that fullness to it. And then these decorative bows I actually purchased at the 99 cent store as well. And since these bows are smaller, it would kind of really be, um, I don't know, it wouldn't look to scale to have a little bow at the top of these big boxes. So a little trick here is to combine these decorative bows into one large one. So I'm just taking those four bows and I'm pulling the little twist ties all the way to the bottom and then twisting them. And then what I'm doing is I am just creating one larger big bow for the top. I really loved the glitter on these bows. I thought they were so adorable and so sparkly. So um, making the giant bow for this um, actually worked out perfect. So what I'm doing here is the little ends of the bows, you could have left them as they are, but I'm just tucking them under just to make the bow a little bit more full. So I'm just putting a little dot of hot glue and then I am re-puffing up my little bow and making sure everything is nice and poofy. And then just adding some hot glue to the bottom and then gluing it to the center of those flowers as well. So uh, this project, like I said, you guys, was so simple and easy and it's just a very fun way to add some Christmas spirit to your home. And uh, like I said, you can use any type of gift boxes with these. I guess the only thing that matters is that you have the three different sizes. That way when you stack them um, and then put the ribbon through, it, it kind of gives you the same effect. But uh, I think these turned out just so, so beautiful and I love them so much. And you can do this like uh, with any type of gift you're giving, just don't use the hot glue, um, just use tape, but it can still serve as just a beautiful presentation for giving any type of gifts. And I just absolutely love these. And the colors were to match my home decor and I just think these little ones with the holiday cheer, making spirits bright, and the bottom one says ho ho ho. Um, I think these are just so, so cute, and I love them. And I'm pretty sure I am going to be doing these every year just to go ahead and start making um, some boxes to either display around my home or to put under the Christmas tree. When you first put up your Christmas tree before you actually have presents underneath, this can just look really, really beautiful. So I hope you guys try this project. It is a lot of fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!